had an experience in Gettysburg about seven years ago um, where I was on the battlefield. It was the middle of August. It was uh, late at night, 9.30, you know, because um, I was legally allowed to be there. And I was by myself. And I was um, at the top of uh, an area called Pickett's Charge. I had my camera, I had my little recorder, and I was doing everything that, you know, the quality ghost hunters are supposed to do. And so I was there, and I, I've said that, and I thought I was ready to have an experience. <laughs> I thought I was ready for, to, that I, that's what I wanted. I also thought I believed. And after I had asked for them to make their presence known in some way, here I am in the middle of a battlefield. My car is maybe 200 yards diagonally from me. And I feel on the small of my back, four fingers, a thumb, and a palm press very distinctly into my back. Not aggressively, not violently, not maliciously, just very much like, hey, yeah, we're right here. And I would say that I didn't sleep for like four days after that. And it was, it was that one seven years ago that really made me get into the actual investigation of things because I got to the point where I was like, you're so afraid of this that you have to figure out a way not to be. The belief in ghosts and other paranormal entities has always been globally prevalent. From the ethereal beings of Shakespeare to the goofy ghouls of Ghostbusters, society remains fascinated by the paranormal. Even skeptics can find enjoyment in a chilling ghost story. Still, there are some who truly believe in entities and venture forth into the unknown. I don't know that I believe in what people purport, you know, people just have this, this um, very narrow uh, definition of what a ghost is. I don't know that I believe that. I do know that I have seen and experienced enough that I feel there is something else. And um, I believe that when you die, your spirit uh, moves on to the next, you know, life. Um, but I don't believe that they're lingering around and haunting and, you know, are able to be contacted by people. I feel that there's a possibility that they exist. Um, I'm not sure. I've never seen one. I've never experienced um, a haunting or anything like that. Um, but I don't rule them out because I'm sure there are many things that are in existence in the world and in the universe that I've not seen. I don't believe in a ghost that's um, that haunts people, a good ghost or a bad ghost. I think they're all over the place. I think uh, anytime something disappears and moves, there's ghosts. And quite frankly, since they are the often the focus of my stories, it seems kind of silly to say I don't believe in them. They are dead people who are alive again. Um, they're invisible. A ghost is the spirit of a person who has died and come back to life to haunt you. A psychology professor at Laurentian University in Ontario, Michael Persinger, PhD, claims a paranormal experience is nothing more than a sensitive temporal lobe reacting to the Earth's naturally occurring magnetic fields. Persinger divulges that his 15-year study has proved, quote, individuals prone to paranormal experiences are sensitive to weak electromagnetic fields and to man-made electrical fields, which are becoming more prominent in the communication age. I think human beings have a profound desire to explain their world and to explain things that they don't understand. Um, so I think in some instances you may have someone who has suffered a loss of a loved one and rather than um, accept the fact that they may not have a connection with them ever again, they feel as though their presence is there um, and it's comforting to them. It's a way to explain loss and death. Um, I think in some instances for people when something happens and they don't know why it's happened, it's comforting to them to explain that it was something that happened beyond their control, that something supernatural in some way had um, a hand in, in it occurring. Um, people who believe in ghosts. I don't want to say I think they're weird, I just, it's a little weird and I want to know like what made them believe that in the first place. 
I guess I find it interesting because I wouldn't mind being a ghost. Just being able to go wherever I wanted, sneak into the White House if I felt like it. Um, when I think about people that believe in ghosts, um, I'm a little cautious of them to some, ex to some extent. I think they <laughs> scare me a little bit. It, to me, one of the reasons that I think that it is common is that there's kind of a whole industry around it. Um, so I don't know if it's because it's fun and, and uh, people want to explore things like going to psychics or reading horror books or horror movies or if it's a hardcore belief. Um, but I certainly think that it must be a pretty common um, part of people's lives because there's a whole industry built up around it. Uh, some paranormal TV shows I enjoy, um, a little bit more on the science fiction side than um, than shows like that just deal with uh, ghosts and hauntings and things of that nature. Well, I do read a lot of the um, you know, weird New Jersey, the uh, true ghost stories, because sometimes you know I can get some ideas. Um, I watch Supernatural. Uh, there are. Uh, I watch the true ghost hunter shows, although it's kind of boring because somehow they never find a ghost, so they're just not looking hard enough. I've seen them all the time. And a Christmas Carol, because there are ghosts in a Christmas Carol, and so you can add a little Christmas and still have a kind of quasi-horror story added in. <laughs> Ghostbusters! I should have said that. I used to watch X-Files. I like to watch Ghost Whisper because it's fun and because it usually has a good ending to it. Well, I think that there's, I think the first thing that people need to understand is that they are television shows and that they have, um, they definitely have a value. I think some a show like Tap, like uh, Ghost Hunters with Taps, it's done an enormous amount um, to educate the public. Um, it's given a vocabulary to the idea of of uh, paranormal research or paranormal studies that people didn't have, you know, seven or eight years ago. I think that it's gotten more people into the hobby of paranormal research than there were a few years ago. So I actually, I, I think that they're great. You know, I, I think some of them are absolutely ridiculous, and that's fun, and some of them are absolutely hardcore, and that's great. I, I think it's like um, anything that gets people to feel comfortable with the idea and open to it and gets them doing things themselves, I think it's great. I have a strong belief in general that anything that exists in the commercial marketplace exists because there are customers for it. Um, I don't think that somebody's necessarily intelligent or unintelligent, sane or insane, um, loving or non-loving because of, of what they believe, but I do think that the process that their brain uses to um, arrive at conclusions is probably different than, say, a um, scientist or a mathematician. I don't think you can approach life already knowing the answer. I think you should be open to asking the question. And I think that people who are really interested in the paranormal, that's what it's about. It's about just saying, hey, I don't know. Let me go out and learn more about this world. Paranormal does not exist outside of this world. It, it's called paranormal, but it's just things we don't know yet.